Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of training. In this session we will be discussing about some of the, the points how to troubleshoot our VBA programs. What are all the options presently available to troubleshoot the VBA program. It does not mean this is the only option available to troubleshoot. Again it depends on individuals and just wanted to share my knowledge and experience how we can troubleshoot these programs. Let's say if you are an ABAP or a technical consultant, you may be already aware of the transaction code ST12. To trace the program, the VB also has the tracing functionality. You can trace the function module. It works in the similar way. Then you have different trace levels. You can increase the trace levels to see the detail of your function module, how it is being executed and what is the data has been extracted. So this facility is already available. So let's see how to trace the function module first. For this exercise also we will be using the one of our previous sample coding. So let's open the file and see how we can trace the function module. Okay, this is our existing program. So let's let's say we want to trace this particular VBA program. So let's add a trace here to trace function module. Okay. First of all, we need to define the level of trace what we want. The level can be 0 to 9. 0 means there is no trace and 1 means or 9 is the highest level of trace. So what we will define is SAP dot uh, log level equal to 0 means there is no log level that is the trace level so we just put the minimum one so we define the minimum trace level that is 1 the next what we need to define is about the trace file where we will save this trace file and what should be the name of this trace file for this we will use the statement um, sap dot log file name is equal to Let's say we wanted to save the same trace file in the same location where this workbook is presently in. So what we can do is how to find the workbook is that this you can use the statement this workbook this workbook dot then this workbook means it will define this particular workbook what is the workbook name and this characteristic then we say path okay so we found the path then we need to define what is the file name so I'm going to use an ambassador to add the uh, next string so backslash let's say logon trace.txt Okay, that will be our file name. So this this workbook dot path slash logon dot trace. This is our trace file name and the location and first level. So let us execute this program and see what kind of trace we can get it from here. I'll run it. So it's running execution completed. Let me go back to the location. You can see log on trace which is created recently and this is the trace what we got. So which started up and some data buffer exceeded some it looks like this particular system which we are using have a data buffer problem. Actually the buffer is not enough to save all the data which we are trying to extract some some extraction which is not authorized but still we are getting all our data which we re really required so it's fine so let us increase the trace level and see what is the additional information what we can get so what we can do right now I'm going to change from 1 to 9 instead of 1 right now we have it in 9 so let's execute the same program again. It's finished. 
let's go back and open the trace file again now if you see it gives you a very detailed trace each and every step how it is executed and what has happened so this is a detailed trace so based on your requirement then you can increase the trace level how much you want to trace I will make it zero so we don't need any trace anymore and another kind of tracing is authorization trace so to to run this kind of visual basic application you need some specific authorization which is called RFC authorization which, which we discussed in our initial mm, sessions so this RFC authorization also very critical authorization in a security point of view so we will not get all the RFC authorization if you ask for RFC full authorization so we need to find out what all the actual RFC authorization what we want and the function module which we are calling is to read table to read table you need some specific authorization the table have some each table have some authorization group and we have some authorization object let's assume that we don't know what is this authorization at the moment the SAP buddy user have SAP all so if you go to our SAP system let's log into our SAP system SU01 SAP buddy this is the user if we go to profiles it has SAP all okay that's the reason so far we don't have any authorization issue so let's assume that you 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 ended up having some authorization issue or you want to know what all the authorization which is required we can trace this user for required authorization for that we will use ST01 you, now we are trying to trace within SAP system okay you go to the transaction code ST01 ST01 then enter then you will come to this cr screen you can enable authorization check here and you can actually start tracing but what happens is if you start tracing it like this it will trace the entire user available in this particular system which is which is not a good sign so we can filter only the user which which we really required so we go to so you go to edit filter shared then you specify the username that is SAP buddy then you switch on the trace now now you come back to our program let us run this VBA code okay now this program is executed now you go back to SAP and trace off if you go to analysis and I'll change the timing this is one two twenty three because the server is in a different time zone execute okay now we got uh, we change the date because the server is actually in a different time zone that's the reason we need to change the date okay now if you see we have two objects s underscore rfc rc zero means we already have this authorization this SAP buddy user already have this authorization if it is four that means this user does not have authorization in our case this user has this authorization s underscore RFC and these are all the the values which is required to run the RFC that are required to run the specific function module that means required to call remote function and yes underscore tabu disk this is for reading tables so this only one value which is required so we need this as well so we need two objects one is yes underscore rfc one is yes underscore tabu disk this is a way you can 
trace the authorization of a particular user so if you are using only this authorization if you are using only this function module then this this is enough if you are using a different function module then it will have its own authorization object which is required for that specific function module and we have one more option to trace the user that is using the logon information whenever there is a problem when you log on to our SAP system using this VBA there will be a file a trace file automatically which will be created it will be like like this in generally it will be created in a working directory the working directory here is this one so it like dev underscore rfc dot trace if you open this one you can open it with the uh, with notepad here you can see if client is not available I was trying to log into client 100 which is not available in the system generally you don't get an error message in BBA there you can understand what is the actual problem in that kind of scenarios you can come to this particular file and see what is actually happened so this also very good information to see what is the problem with this we are coming to the end of this session thank you very much for listening I will see you in the next session bye bye